Hey guys, Dirtison here, and I'm doing a review for Totem Ori. At least I think that's how it's said, Totem Ori. Um, first of all, Totem Ori is a game, as you can see, it's just a game about building up a totem or a tower or whatever to uh, as high as you can get it while knocking other people's uh, totems down yourself. Uh, and the first one to uh, so many points wins. Now, there's a few ways you can go about this. You can build on top of other people's towers along with uh, there being cones that you can put on top of towers that stop you from building them. Golden bricks which uh, double, the po double the points that a uh, tower makes. So there's that. Uh, that is, doubles the points that um, other bricks that are on top of it. Now, how well does it this game execute that? It executes it fairly well. The gameplay is fairly smooth. Uh, there's no issues. There's no bugs in the gameplay, really. Um, there's nothing about this that... It's really just a really well-polished game. But because it's so simple that uh, it's you can expect it to be that way. Uh, graphics wise and sound effect wise, music wise, it's done really well. And uh, just fairly simple again, but really well. And it really works for the type of game and everything as you can see. Physics, physics are done pretty well. Although for some reason towers will randomly fall for uh, seemingly no reason. Uh, perhaps that's just to make it exciting. Uh, the, the higher it gets. Um, AI. AI can, is, is really good. But sometimes uh, if you decide to start dazing them and, and attacking them. They'll just forget all about the towers and start attacking you a lot more. And it's kind of like whatever you do, they do. And so they can be kind of predictable instead of that random AI mess that I was hoping for. Also, sometimes when having more than one AI, uh, some of the AI will just bump into each other and then just stay in there, which is kind of a little bit ridiculous um, as far as I'm concerned, because then I can just build up a really super tall tower and win the game without any effort or little effort whatsoever. Because they'll stand there for the rest of the game doing nothing until you hit them or something else happens. Now this game is a local co-op game. So how is the co-op? Well, I'd say the co-op is really good. Uh, you can actually play up to four players or, or three bots and one player. And you can actually just play them all on one keyboard, which is kind of ridiculous. But, it, you know, uh, having that option there is really helpful. Uh, I was able to connect my Xbox One controller and play perfectly fine, which I found to be a huge advantage over a keyboard player, uh, despite preferring a mouse and keyboard. And in my other games, the controller was obviously a lot better for this game, um, because the controls are just so simple, and the number one thing you're doing is running around picking up blocks and throwing them. Now, this game was really fun. Uh, it's definitely a game that you can put a few hours into, and it does have a price of zero dollars. It's free, it's free to play, so that's always a plus. So yeah, I definitely say pick this up and play it. Uh, however, this game is not without fault. There's a lack of game modes, and what I mean by game modes is just you have three, five, seven, and ten minute game modes along with bot party and tutorial. Now these game modes are all the same except for tutorial which gives you a little bit of a uh, tutorial obviously. So with the lack of game modes it does kinda get boring pretty quick after a few hours um, because especially considering how simple the game is and how simple the AI is and that most people won't have somebody there to uh, play two player with on their computer because uh, there's no online multiplayer which is a fault in itself now not that I'm dissing this for having only local 
multiplayer, but just the option of online multiplayer would have been a nice added touch that they seem to have uh, overlooked or perhaps just decided not to put in it for another reason. This game also does seem to have a lack of settings, which kind of surprised me because um, in each game you're supposed to get up to so many points uh, depending on the game mode, uh, the 3, 5, 7, or 10 minutes, and you can't adjust the points and you can't adjust the time, which is really a bummer. If you could do that, that would be so much better. That would be so awesome. You could put it for you know an hour with unlimited points. Or just 10 minutes for some limited points. But so often you, somebody will win before you, uh, before time runs out that a 10 minute game could be 5 minute game. And so I don't know why the game modes are called 5 minutes and 10 minutes because average time is, could be half that. Uh, another thing with the lack of settings is there's no bot difficulty. There is clumsy bots you can turn on. Uh, but the clumsy bots are way too easy. Uh, it's made for younger children, as it even says in the settings, and that's fine. And that's I, I I'm la I glad that I'm glad that they did that. But it's just with no difficulty setting, it makes it a little too easy or a little too hard, depending on what it is. So overall, I do give Totemari uh a eight out of ten. This game is wonderful. Good graphics good gameplay, good playability, and definitely worth the get. So get yourself uh, this game. Peace.